Cody Cannon today at JTAC. I'm going to show you the under cab inspection on a class. Eight. First thing you want to do is you want to just start from the front of the truck back. You just want to check, look for any oil leaks, any damaged hoses, any messed, messed up wiring. You want to check all the conduit. You want to check for any leaks underneath the truck. You want to check for any the respring, see if they're cracked. You want to check your ear bolts, see if the ear bolts are loose, the nuts for them. Check your shocks. You want to check your steering, check your cross link, tie rod ends. You want to check your kingpins. You can check this one, it's not jump brakes, this is disc brakes. You want to check your brake linings. You want to check your air lines, make sure they're not cracked or cut, no dry rotting. Make sure all your grease fittings are in. You want to make sure all of them are greased. You just want to go over the truck. If something's hanging that can get caught or ripped off, you want to secure it. Just find where, out, where the bracket goes or if it was just held together with zip ties. You just want to check the transmission lines. Make sure they're not dry rotted or cut. Have any holes in them. Check all your airlines. Coming back here, check your drive shaft, your U joints. Make sure they're tight. Make sure there's not much play. Then you want to check your brackets to make sure like nothing's getting tangled up or you can get wrapped around your drive shaft. Check all your airlines to your tanks. Check wiring. And check your dip. Make sure there's no leaks, visible leaks, any cracking. Check all your hoses, your airbags. You want to check your truck leveling valve. If you see anything that can get caught, ripped, or broken, you want to fix or note it down. Check your U joints or your ear bolts. You want to check the nuts, see if they're tight. Check your brake linings back here. Check all your brake pans, your slack adjusters, any hoses, see if there's any dry rot. Check your shocks. Make sure all your wiring is plugged in. Make sure there's nothing unplugged. And that's how you do a visual inspection on a semi.